today is the day I'm not feeling very well. I'm not feeling very well at all. <coughs> Since, since I got to Perth, um, it was about three days ago now. Uh, camped in the bush the first two nights, and uh, been waking up with a uh, scratchy throat, and dry, and just put it down to I know dust and not sleeping so much and what have you. So I had a few sort of um, late mornings to get up. Put me behind a little bit, and then of course there's all the deal with the bike show, uh, bike, bike show. Um, but uh, I got into Ravensthorpe last night, and we got to the pub there. They're just stopping the serving, so I managed to get some food. Which was um, but uh, the, the throat's been getting worse, as you can hear, and um, I, I got a shiver. Got and uh, so the, the hotel there, they got food and didn't send me down the road to another motel because they were full. And uh, I got I got in there, uh, which was lucky because um, it's quite difficult to find accommodation here if you just turn up. It's, it's normally booked out quite a lot. So, uh, yeah, I got in there and... Um, I slept for, for a good eight hours. Um, it's a weird nightmare. Really strange, kind of abstract, recurring, repeating, kind of traumatising dreams. Um, and I didn't know what to do really. Um, I didn't know whether to push on. It was 187k to Esperance. Two hours to get out of bed. Um, just to even just get walking across the room to put shorts on. And it was just shaking and chilly. And so I got myself together and got over it and finally got out. Um, before which I I went on the Wi-Fi there and I booked um, Best Western in Esperance in a kind of forced my own hand try and get there, you know, and, and I've got somewhere when I get there that's booked and I know it's booked. Um, so I booked that and then I went to breakfast and it took me an hour to eat a bacon and egg sausage sandwich. I was absolutely hanging, I was still kind of falling asleep. Um, it was nasty. Um, and the girl who served me breakfast um, got chatting and uh, about my trip and that, and I wasn't feeling so good. And uh, I asked her if um, you, you can buy um, antibiotics over the, uh, over the county, uh, and she said I'd have to go to the chemist, and I don't know until 12. Um, so I asked her if they would actually sell them to me. Um, she disappeared into the back, and she came out with two tablets. I took one, but the other ones. Something she got in Bali apparently. Um, I think they're working. Um, I got to Mun Munjalup, some place down there. It's 80k into this ride, sort of halfway stop. Um, got into there okay in about three hours, 20 minutes, which 50 miles into a headwind when you're feeling shit is. It, And now I'm pushing on. So I've done uh, another few K and I've got 80k to go. And uh, I don't know what time it is, but I'll be in Esperance before dark. And I'm just gonna just gonna have a nice big meal there, get my head down again, wake up when I wake up. And if I wake up feeling like I am I did today, I may not go to Northman tomorrow. Um, although having said that it might be a tailwind, so we'll see. 
But um, if I go into the Nullarbor and I need a doctor, he's going to be coming to me in an aeroplane, so um, I'll get in a lot of trouble for that. Right, so I'll push on. Simplified my cockpit, by the way. I've just got these things, I've got rid of that mobile phone, jazz, and uh, just a tyre under there. It's a lot nicer, actually. A lot more clean. Uh, got a little pack of supplies, it's all packed. I've been going for uh, the longer sections, just sort of trialling that over this section where I don't really need to, but it's flattish, I don't need the. Uh, I was worried about the weight, and I didn't know if I was going to find shops, so. Uh, yeah. It's uh, half past six in the morning um, on the 25th of March. Um, as you can see, I'm about to start the Nullarbor section. I've just left Northman, literally back there uh, a few hundred metres. Um, next service stop is Balladonia. Balladonia. Uh, should reach there mid afternoon, perhaps. It's 189k, so that'll probably take me about eight hours um, if there's a, bit, a little bit of a wind. Uh, it's nearly 2,000 kilometres to Adelaide. Uh, a little bit more for me probably because I'll be tracking the south coast um, although after Sedona I'll have more services so um, probably looking at about a, a 1200, 1300 kilometre stretch now with with very limited services um, after Balladonia there's Kaiguna uh, that's another 180 kilometres um, but that's 24 hour services so I may be able to push on to there today I, I just don't know um, been feeling rough um, the last couple of days. Um, I was very uncomfortable on the bike yesterday. So um, if I can get close to Kaigona, then you know at least I can get my head down, get a bit of sleep, and when I wake up, uh, I've not got too far to go for breakfast because uh, that can be pretty rough. Uh, so really, there's not much else to do but pedal for the next four days, maybe. Um, so I'll just be trying to stay awake and. Uh, stay on the pedals as long as I can and if I manage to recover a little bit of power because I'm feeling quite weak uh, then that'll be good. I've checked the winds, they're not too damaging um, but they're definitely not in the right direction so it's it's going to be a bit of a struggle um, but I don't know, you know that was always going to be the way. They're not fully in my face and they're not too powerful so um, I can guess I can count myself. Fairly lucky, I suppose. Uh, and that's all, really. I guess I'll just start pedalling. A fairly early start. Good good rest last night. Well fed, well supplied. I'd like to have been off a little bit earlier. It's quite cold, though. Or well, I feel cold. Still feel a bit of a chill. Um... Yeah, I have to get it done now. Let's try and get back on the pace. Still on the long straight road, 90 miles straight. It's about 6.30 in the morning. 26th maybe of March. Having breakfast, sat on a microwave oven in the middle of the null ball. I slept in the toilet last night. Just like old times. Didn't mean to. Um, it was about 70k from Kaigoma, which is 24 hour services. I made Baladonia by about three o'clock. I ate there, but maybe not enough. Uh, portions weren't very good. But it took a long time, so I didn't want to eat more. Should have done, really. Um, just got slower and slower last night. Uh, it was sort of 
crawling along, tapping along at 20 k's an hour, 22 k's an hour, thinking I might get to Kaigunna for just after midnight. We got slower and slower. So that went out to about one o'clock, half one. Um, and then I had a real battle. Tried every trick in the book to make me make myself ride. I just wanted to stop. Um, it started raining and I had to decide whether I was going to ride through the rain and get to Kaigunna and shelter or I was going to stick the tent up. The first time it was half past seven, it was too early. Um, and so I kept riding. Um, I kept riding on to 100k from Kaigunna and it, then the rain stopped. And I thought, yeah, it's alright. So I was going to push then for... I was going to push on till 200 miles, nice round number. That'd leave me 55 to get to Kaigun in the morning, which is not, not too bad. Got some food. Um, that didn't happen. It started raining again. And it got heavier. Then I saw there was a rest stop. There were rest stops where well, I was like two in 100 miles. And I knew there'd be a toilet there. And I thought there might be some other kind of shelter. But when I got to when I got there, there was only this toilet. It was a, a tin shed, quite a big tin shed, big enough to get the bike in, sleeping mat down, and not be too close to the toilet. Um, a lot of bugs and stuff trying to get in. So I saw the light and what have you. So I had to kind of I got my mozzie net, I kind of put it over the top half of my body and put my down waistcoat inside, there's a pillow, curled up inside there, um, eventually I got in my sleeping bag, and then a guy woke me up this morning wanting to use the toilet, left and open the door, um, yeah he wasn't, he was alright about it, but he says you don't want to be sleeping in toilets, <laughs> yeah, I said you're probably right, but it got me moving this morning, so I would have really struggled to move. Um, I'll probably struggle to move now. But I've got I've got um, Danishes I picked up in in um, Esperance, and I've been eating this straight from the bottleneck. Hundred percent pure Australian honey. Try not to eat too much at one time, it makes me sick. But it's very good carbohydrates. Very efficient. And it's good for my throat too. Um, so I'm 60k from Kaigun and now. I'll eat this little lot, that'll shuffle me on a little bit. I'll get there, I'll eat. The next roadhouse after that is only 60k. So I'll get there, I'll eat some more. And I think I've got 115k. So I'll eat again. Um, I don't know what kind of mileage I'll do today. Depends on if I perk up or not, but it's just a, it's just a death march at the minute. <laughs> but, you know, spend time on the bike, keep the pedals turning, I'll get there. Um, that's all we can really say about that. And just hope that in the background that I'm getting better. We'll see. I'm uh, in Kaiguna Roadhouse, just eating a big plate of sausage, egg, and chips, and beans, and toast. It's so weak, and then. I've got no appetite, and it took. I don't know how long it took to eat that. Probably over an hour. Then I had a pie, and some coke, and some milkshake. Now I can't hardly keep my eyes open. Um, I was dozy before I ate. 
I don't know whether it's the illness or just lack of sleep last night. Maybe a bit of some, some stroke as well. Um, I just wiped out. Trying to get back on pace yesterday was... Just took it out of me. So... Um, Cocklebiddy Cocklebiddy is only 64k away. And then Maduro is 84k after that. I don't know if I'll make it to Maduro. I'm going to try. Um, I might need an hour's kip. I might wake up feeling like I've got my energy. My mum is certainly carbohydrate deficient. And I'm going to have my tummy. Taste in my mouth. It's fizzy, kind of salty, metallic taste. Um, but yeah, today's not going to be a big one. Very much pain for yesterday. Uh, just going to suffer it. I might even try and get into a proper bed tonight because I don't know. Or just put the tent up early. Um, just try and get some rest. I'm just wiped out. But the wind's in the wrong direction. Can't get more than 20, mile, 20 kilometers now. It's just pathetic. I don't know what else to do, just gotta keep going. There's a doctor's surgery at uh, Euclid. I don't know how far that is, I don't think it's too far, it's near Border Village. So, uh, we'll see. I might go in there if I'm still feeling like this, it might be some kind of chronic condition. I'm just so fatigued and weak. So my legs back. Who's your legs are these? Uh, well, I'll leave it at that for now. Tune in later for more moaning. Hello again. Um, I don't know if I've, I'm just being soft, probably, or I've made a judgment call. Um, but I was approaching Cocklebiddy and uh, I needed a place to be ill. <laughs> so I stopped here. It's uh, just gone. I lost 45 minutes because the clocks went forward when I crossed a state line, I think, or a, a certain time, time zone. Um, so. I wasn't gonna. I, I wasn't gonna make it to the next roadhouse by the time it shut, and I felt like I needed to sort out, sort myself out. I didn't know if I could do what I did last night again, because uh, it crippled me. I didn't get anywhere. I did 30 miles by lunchtime. It was hopeless. So I need a good night's sleep. A good meal. I had a good meal at, at where is it? But I was falling asleep after that. That was awful. But I need the same kind of meal now. And I think I've got my carbohydrates back. Because actually, for, for about ten minutes, feeling quite powerful. Or, well, not powerful. Last week. On, on the way up here. So, if I can get a big meal, good night's rest, show some discipline for once, and get away early tomorrow morning, I can crack on. And hopefully, I won't put myself in a position where it costs me the next day, like it did today. So that's the plan. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm going to dinner. Brisbane, finally, thought it was never going to happen. I've uh, never been here before. Oh no, I have actually. I came through on a train once, or to get a train. Uh, it looks nice. Nice skyline. 
Okay, nine. Nice. Had a, a bit of it to do today with punctures and rain and taking the wrong route and getting lost and I thought I should have been here about four hours ago really but uh, I had to go get some inner tubes and uh, various other things so it's not bad considering I'm quite happy just to be here the airport's about 10k up there. I've not slept. I've slept about two hours in the last 420 miles. It's a bit bonkers. So I'm due to I'm due uh, catch up in sleep. It's a nice cycle path over the bridge. I dare say I might see this again in the light. I think I've got to wait a little while to get a flight out. I'll uh, catch you at the airport. Goodbye.